friends, Teacher Lisa here. Today I'm going to read a book called The Grouchy Ladybug by Eric Carl. We've been reading this in class and really enjoying it, so I hope you'd like it too. The Grouchy Ladybug by Eric Carl. It was night, and some fireflies danced around the moon. At five o'clock in the morning, the sun came up. A friendly ladybug flew in from the left. It saw a leaf with many aphids on it and decided to have them for breakfast. But just then a grouchy ladybug flew in from the right, and it too saw the aphids and wanted them for breakfast. Good morning, said the friendly ladybug. Go away, shouted grouchy ladybug. I want those aphids. We can share them, suggested the friendly ladybug. No, they're mine, all mine, screamed the grouchy ladybug. Or do you want to fight me for them? If you insist, answered the friendly ladybug sweetly, and it looked the other bug straight in the eye. The grouchy ladybug stepped back. It looked less sure of itself. Oh, you're not big enough for me to fight, it said. Then why don't you pick on somebody bigger? I'll do that, screeched the grouchy ladybug. I'll show you, and it puffed itself up and flew off. At six o'clock, it met a yellow jacket. Hey, you, said Grouchy Ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the yellow jacket, showing its stinger. Oh, you're not big enough, said Grouchy Ladybug, and flew off. At seven o'clock, it saw a stag beetle. Hey, you, said Grouchy Ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the stag beetle, opening its jaws. Oh, you're not big enough, said Grouchy Ladybug, and flew off. At eight o'clock, it came across a praying mantis. Hey, you, said Grouchy Ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the praying mantis, reaching out with its long front legs. Oh, you're not big enough, said Grouchy Ladybug, and flew off. <laughs> At nine o'clock, it almost flew into a sparrow. Hey, you! said Grouchy Ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the sparrow, opening its sharp beak. Oh, you're not big enough, said Grouchy Ladybug, and flew off. At ten o'clock, it saw a lobster. Hey, you, said Grouchy Ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the lobster, stretching its claws. Oh, you're not big enough, said Grouchy Ladybug, and flew off. <laughs> At eleven o'clock, it bumped into a skunk. Hey, you, said Grouchy Ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the skunk, starting to lift its tail. Oh, you're not big enough, said Grouchy Ladybug, and flew off. At twelve noon, it spotted a boa constrictor. Hey, you, said Grouchy Ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the snake, right after lunch. Oh, you're not big enough, said Grouchy Ladybug, and flew off. At one o'clock, it happened upon a hyena. Hey, you, said Grouchy Ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the hyena, laughing eerily and showing its teeth. Oh, you're not big enough, said Grouchy Ladybug, and flew off. Each of the animals are getting bigger and bigger. <laughs> At two o'clock, it met a gorilla. And there he is right there. Hey, you, said Grouchy Ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the gorilla, beating its chest. Oh, you're not big enough, said the Grouchy Ladybug, and flew off. I think Grouchy Ladybug might be a little bit afraid. What do you think? <laughs> At three o'clock, it ran into a rhinoceros. Hey, you, said Grouchy Ladybug, want to fight? There he is. If you insist, said the rhinoceros, lowering its horn. Oh, you're not big enough, said Grouchy Ladybug, and flew off. There's our little ladybug. At four o'clock, it encountered an elephant. Hey, you, said Grouchy Ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the elephant, raising its trunk and showing its big tusks. Oh, you're not big enough, said Grouchy Ladybug, and flew off. 
At five o'clock, it met a whale. Hey, you, said Grouchy Ladybug, what a fight. But the whale didn't answer at all. Oh, you're not big enough anyway, said the Grouchy Ladybug, and flew off. There's the ladybug. I have a feeling the whale couldn't even hear that tiny ladybug. What do you think? At 5.15, the grouchy ladybug said to one of the whale's flippers, Hey, you, want to fight? But it got no answer, and it flew on. And at 5.30, the grouchy ladybug said to the whale's fin, Hey, you, want to fight? But it got no answer, so it flew on. And at quarter to six, the grouchy ladybug said to the whale's tail, Hey, you, want to fight? And the whale's tail gave the grouchy ladybug such a slap, <gasps> flap, that it flew across the sea and across the land. There it goes. And at six o'clock, the grouchy ladybug arrived right back where it had started from. Ah, oh, here you are again, said the friendly ladybug. You must be hungry. There's still some aphids left. You can have them for dinner. Oh, thank you, said the wet and tired and hungry ladybug. You're welcome. Soon all the aphids were gone. Thank you, said the leaf. You're welcome, answered both the ladybugs, and they went to sleep. And the fireflies, who'd been sleeping all day, came out to dance around the moon. That was a great story. I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time. Bye, friends.